And European leaders have also added broader sanctions against Moscow during a summit in Brussels. Joining us now for more on that is CCTV Sandra Gadman. And Sandra, it appears this new package of measures will be somewhat of a work in progress. So what happens now? And is there still room for negotiations with Russia? Well, Elaine, EU leaders have always maintained that the door for diplomacy has been left open to Russia, but of course the window for cooperation is slowly closing, given as we heard U.S. President Barack Obama just now say that uh, patience is wearing thin. They haven't seen Russia live up to the terms of an agreed peace plan with Ukraine, which involves uh, essentially Russia urging separatists uh, to leave uh, the taken checkpoints in East Ukraine, to give back hostages, and of course eventually disarm. So. Uh, as a result, European leaders meeting in Brussels uh, this evening have decided to increase sanctions, perhaps not as far as Washington was prepared to go, but nonetheless, uh, they've uh, decided to ask the European Investment Bank to suspend uh, the financing of development projects in Russia. They've also asked the European Commission here in Brussels to look into, on a case-by-case -case basis, how to abandon uh, joint projects with Russia as well. But more crucially, in the coming days and in the two weeks uh, ahead, European governments are being urged to look into ways that uh, officials, high-ranking officials in the uh, Kremlin in Moscow, as well as companies involved or believed to be involved in these separatist movements in Ukraine, how those could be targeted next as a way of adding pressure. Uh, so we did hear from various EU leaders, uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel being one of them, uh, Nathan King, our reporter there, saying that that her patience has been uh, has been growing thin, uh, but she did say the EU was forced to take a much tougher line this time. At their plan. The question of the hostages is still outstanding, and the, the ceasefire, a mutual agreement on peace. These are all points that are still outstanding, where we don't even have a glimmer of hope or any idea of how it's going to develop. Now, of course, this summit wasn't meant to be about Ukraine. It was somewhat hijacked by the crisis there. It was meant to be about European leaders selecting top jobs for the next European Commission, a foreign policy chief being one of them. They haven't come to an agreement yet, and they'll be uh, addressing that issue later in August when they reconvene. All right, CCTV Central Gatton, live for us from Brussels.